Good day, friends, and welcome once again to Axe Channel. Just as we have promised, we are going to make this platform a very comprehensive one that discusses a lot of steady areas in our daily activities. And please, today we are looking at types of input and output devices in the world of computer. Types of input and output devices. Please give us a hand of support by subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, sharing our videos with, with friends and colleagues, and also passing comments on our videos. Thank you very much. Yes, input and output devices. We're looking at the types. But first, we want to look at input devices, then in our subsequent videos, we will discuss the output devices. So first of all, let's define what input devices are. We see that input devices are the devices that are used to feed the computer with data. They are the devices that are used to feed the computer with data. We can also say that they are the hardware components of the computer which are used to issue commands and instructions into the computer. Yes, they are used to feed the computer or they are used to issue commands and instructions into the computer. Now, in a very simple um, explanation, we will say that input devices are the components, are the devices that will help the user to interact with the computer. So what it means is that without the input devices, it will be very difficult, if not impossible, for one to um, interact with the computer system. So if you want to click if you want to press the enter key, if you want to send keys or if you want to send images into the computer, you will depend on input devices. First, let's look at the types of input devices. There are two main types of input devices. These are one, pointing devices and other input devices. The two types of input devices are one, pointing devices and other input devices. So quickly, let's look at what pointing devices are. I am sure you are following and it should be very simple as you Come along with us. Yes. So what are pointing devices? Pointing devices are the devices that are used to control the movements of the mouse pointer. They are the devices that are used to control the movement of the mouse pointer. Now you realize that when you hold the mouse, when you push it or you drag it, you realize that the mouse pointer or the cursor begins to move on the screen. Yes. This means that the mouse is a pointing device. So let's, let's continue with the other examples of pointing devices. So we've already mentioned the mouse. We have the cordless mouse. We have the mouse as a pointing device sorry, as a pointing device and the cordless mouse. We also have the touchpad. The touchpad. The touchpad is that square device or square flat um, surface on the laptop, which is used to control the movement of the mouse pointer. In actual sense, it acts as the mouse in the laptop. So the touchpad is another example of 
a pointing device. We have the joystick. The joystick. Normally, what um, my guys, what you use to play games on the console, gaming console, or even on the uh, computer, the joystick or game pad. You can also call uh, call it game pad. Yes, these are all examples of pointing devices. We have the light pen. The light pen is also an example of a pointing device. Then we have the stylus pen. The stylus pen. The stylus pen. We have the trackball. In actual sense, the, the trackball is like the mouse which has been turned upside down. Yeah, it's like the me mechanical mouse which has been turned upside down with the ball that is the rolling ball on it, which is used to control the movement of the mouse pointer. So the trackball is also an example of a pointing device. Well, these are some of the examples that we can say they are called pointing devices. Shall we move on by looking at the other types of input devices? Yes. We have the computer keyboard, that is a keyboard. The keyboard is a typical example of an input device. The keyboard helps us to feed the computer with text, that is numbers, letters, and symbols. So the keyboard is a typical example of an input device. We can also talk about the barcode reader. The barcode reader. Normally when you go to the shopping mall or the supermarket, after buying your item and presenting it to the counter, you realize that there is this device which is used to show the barcode on the products for it to, for it to release the details about the products including the price so that you are told how much you're going to pay so that device is called a barcode reader and it is an input device the scanner is another typical example of an input device the scanner helps to convert hard copy um, information into the computer so you know with the computer if you're feeding anything to the computer it becomes data so if you have any hard copy information and you want to feed it back to the computer you can use the scanner to do that it will convert the hard copy format into soft copy then we also have the touch screen the touch screen yes that screen that you have on your smartphone it is called touch screen Yes, when you get to the output devices, we will still mention the touch screen, all because the touch screen serves as both input and output device. Then we have the digital camera. The digital, <coughs> excuse me, the digital camera. The digital camera is another example of an input device, all because you could pick your image and feed the computer with it. Then we have the webcam acting in the same um, way as the digital camera. The webcam sometimes it is built inside the computer or the phone. This is called an internal webcam or an internal web camera. Those ones that are purchased separately and connected to the computer are called external web camera or web cameras. Yes. So, in a nutshell, we want to, you to understand that an input device is a device that is used to feed the computer with data. And that there are two types of input devices. We have the um, pointing devices and the other types of input devices. So, looking at the pointing device, we realize that it is the type of device that is used to control the movement of the mouse pointer. We mentioned some examples as the mouse, the cordless mouse, the touchpad, the trackball, 
the light pen, the stylus, all these are examples of um, pointing devices. Then when we came to the other types of input devices, we mentioned the keyboard. Um, the microphone is also another example of an input device. We have the scanner, the barcode reader, and a lot more. So, thank you very much for staying with us. We are pleading that you continue to subscribe, share our videos with your friends, like our videos, and also pass comments with them. Thank you. Bye-bye.